Okay, I've gone ahead and added in most of the footages and most of the text copy. But there are some problems that we see here as uh, th this last frame is actually supposed to go two frames before, which is uh, after this frame. So we can actually reorder this is the one that we want. And I'm just going to be duplicating the layer by pressing Command D or Control D on if you're on the PC. So we have two exact same copies of the layers. I'm just going to be shifting this down to here because this is where we want to push our frame to. And so I can slide this layer to the same in point as the layer on top and I'm gonna be pushing these back. One good tip is actually just to align the last layer to the last layer of the top so most probably the animation will still retain its properties. So I can go ahead and delete this layer and now you can see that let me just drop the preview resolution that this frame is in the same is in the correct position yep but there's another problem so as you can see in this frame <laughs> we have too much text in this frame and so some of the text has been cut off let's go back in here and take a look at this text layer. So what the artists have done is actually uh, to constrain this text to within this composition. So anything that's outside of this composition will actually be cut off. So let's go ahead and uh, resize it down. You can press, you can toggle down to the scale. Let's go down to 100%, maybe bring it up a bit. The other way to do it is actually just to split the two lines into two and I can actually just drag this around. Maybe I'll just align it to the center. So now that we, we have this aligned, let's go back out. And you can see that the text actually fits within the frame as intended. So that's great. Uh, let's close this. We also don't have the text fitting it here, so let's go ahead and do the same thing as well. Align it center. Yep. don't like the position of this text super, I shall go ahead and readjust the wait a minute ah, nature oh And so for our second last frame here, we have a lot of, uh, it's just a quick cut of all the footages. So there are some compositions that we have already included the footages and there are some that we don't. So I'm just going to be going ahead and putting in uh, some more footages that I have up here, which I have saved for backup. Let me, let me just that. Okay, now we have put in all our footages and uh, let's go to the last frame and we are nearing the end. You can tell that the footage underneath is actually showing through because uh, this layer, it's, the background is transparent. So we can actually select the layer that we don't want to be seen and we'll just adjust the ending frame of it. When you hover your mouse over the end point Will turn into this cursor. You can actually click and drag and just uh, align it with the last frame of the previous one.
Now we just need to change the logo. Let's go back to our finder. We have the images. As usual, you can option, drag, and then when you toggle down, let's here's our motion elements logo. Let's go into the comp. You can drag this out. And maybe I'll resize it down. Just a little. Make sure it's center. Looking good. And then you see this. So our logo it's colored, but uh, this is not as you can tell. So you can actually select a layer, go to effects control, and you actually see what effects are actually applied to this layer. And for this one, uh, it actually has a fill effect that changes the color of the image. So we'll go ahead. You can actually turn this off. You can toggle it to see if you want to keep it. But we'll keep it off for now. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to frame 30 because uh, I want our video to be 30 seconds. So I can over onto the work area and I'll just drag it press shift it will align it maybe I'll just and so now our working area will be 30 seconds motion elements